Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. Let's go here, bringing you another super awesome Minecraft episode. And in today's episode, we are going to be putting on our gardening gloves and putting on the sunblock because we're going to be doing some garden in Scarland. We're going to be making some hedge work, some beautiful looking flower beds, and so forth. So let's get this episode underway. All right, down on the main land, and I've got my sunblock applied so I don't get sunburned while I'm doing my yard work. But then I just realized it's actually raining, but our amazing glass cube is keeping that from bothering us. All right, just before we start our gardening, I just wanted to show you guys a few things I did to the tree recently. I added a lot more leaves to it, so you know it kind of drapes down a little bit. I've been planning on doing that forever, but I finally took the opportunity to do that so it looks a little bit uh, more realistic a little more organic so let's jump over here real quick and look on this side so you can see how this giant kind of branch kind of hangs down now and stuff like that I didn't really want to do it in a video because it required me falling a lot and just constantly building up scaffolding and things of that nature so yeah there's the tree and let's go through there and take a look at kind of what we're gonna do on this side I completed the main entryway kind of corridor gardens so it comes through here I completed it on this side so this is what we're gonna do over here we're gonna make these hedge work design like that put the flowers on there and I think that'll look pretty cool I cleaned up all the little boxes getting ready to be moved into the the, the tree kind of clean that up so we can get that going and of course over here this is where we're gonna build our topiaries and fountains We'll do that in our next episode. So let's get started here. Let's go over here and start our little gardening project. And we're also going to make a garden go in this blank spot across here. So we'll get to that at the end of the episode. So let's start here. Now, first things first, these are not required in our garden design. These, um, which am I call it? These little wood things, they're there for more detail. Because I just think it just seems right to have some type of root or some type of uh, you know structure for the plant to grow from. Just putting the leaves on the ground just doesn't seem right to me for some reason. So I know it's not necessary, but I think it just looks better that way that there is some type of trunk. What am I trying? I'm trying to find a word that is eluding me, but that's what I'm trying to say. Not required, but I think it looks better that way. I went with the pine leaves here, as you can see, because they don't change color as you move through the area. As you see here, that's green ground, but as you go down there, it actually turns brown and some other colors. So I wanted to have a consistent color, so I chose the pine leaves because they're the ones who don't change colors. Now, I believe the birch doesn't also. I believe it, it contained or keeps its original color if you go through different biomes or whatever. It's pretty much the oak, I believe, and the jungle that changes colors. But I like the darker green a little bit better. I think it contrasts better with the flowers, the red and the yellow. All right, almost across. Let's see, whoop, whoop, there we go. Like that, like that. There we go. All right, let's grab our plants. Let's we'll kind of do a nice little staggered approach like that. Oh, oh, there we go. Nice. All right. Okay, let's see here. So we'll go like this. And we'll go like that. I believe that's right. Uh huh. There we go. Yep. Almost across. This looks pretty good so far. Yeah. Nice. Looks pretty good. Let's see. There we go. Come across there. And finishing it up. Whoops, no. Yeah, this is right. I'm trying to remember. Make sure I'm doing this correctly. Make sure it's all even. There we go. Nice. There we go. Now we have a nice little 
entryway kind of a decorative uh, entryway let's jump up here real quick see what it looks like from above a little bit yeah nice I love it all right so let's jump back down here and I'm gonna grab some supplies grab a, a bit more leaves and then we'll start our design that goes around there loops all the way around and comes back to here so give me a second let me grab some supplies and I'll be right back all right, grab some supplies and let's get started on our next gardening project. So let's jump over here. Now, let's see. So in our next episode, like I said in our previous one, we're going to readdress these entranceways, make them a little bit more grand. So I'm not going to do anything crazy over here. So we're just going to do some basic design here because we might change it up a little bit later. So the basic design here I'm going for is kind of a little staggered like this. We'll come over here, one there, and come along there like that. Now, because I said earlier that I liked having the little, like a place for the plant to seem to be growing from, like this wood here. But once I do what I'm going to do here, it becomes somewhat unnecessary because you can barely even see it. So I'm probably not going to do it as we keep going down the lane like so. So as we finish up this area where I've already put them down, I probably won't do them as we continue to make the square. All right, so let's just finish up here. Come across here like this. So this will be the hedge work, and then we'll come back and we'll jazz it up just a little bit more with some flowers and some ferns. So let's come across here like this. Almost across. Let's see how this is turning out. Hmm, so once we come up to this bend, we have to figure out how exactly we want to do this. Hmm, it's a good question. Is I still need to have my access to my work area over there until the project is complete. So let's see if we can come around here like so. Like that and give it two. So you would come from here. Let's see, yeah, there we go, that's good. All right, let's get rid of this guy. There, I believe that's even. I believe that is. Cool. cool. All right, so let's jump back over here and add our flowers and our ferns. Excuse me, pets. Excuse me. Thank you. All right, so back over here. So anything else we could do to jazz up our, our hedge work a little bit more, I wonder. Yeah, I like that a little bit. Let's see if we can do that on this side, too. Unfortunately, the panes are going to grab our hedges, but I, I don't think it'll make it look too awkward. Let's see if we can go over there like that. Like that. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's, let's do that all the way down the lane here. Let's do that all the way. Nice. Nice. I think this is going to be pretty cool. Kind of add an extra layer to your structures. It's in the construction when you uh, when you're watching a building or a Disneyland ride or something like that getting built, and you know it's 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 getting close. But when they start adding the landscape, that's always when you know that the structure is almost done and it really pulls everything together. And I think this is what this uh, hedge work and plants and all that stuff we're adding today will do to uh, tree farm. So let's continue to add this down here. It's almost across. There we go. I, lo I love gardening. I used to do quite a bit of it before I uh, got sick and stuff, and it was a little bit not 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 the easiest thing to do. But I, I always enjoyed working out in the garden and stuff. All right, there we go. Let's head back over here and add our ferns. So I was thinking we could add a fern here, and then we could do a stagger design like that with there or we could do a solid hmm I'm not sure let's see let's add our ferns come across here like that nice let's do the same keep doing the same like this hmm hmm I think this is starting to come out pretty nice all right almost across and then we'll do an assessment and then we're gonna jump into super fast build mode and finish the rest of it because this will take quite some time to actually complete 
So that's why I wanted to do a full side for you guys and then I'll jump into super fast build mode and finish the rest. There we go, almost across. Grab our ferns. And complete. Okay, good. So now there's this area. Let's see if we could do something a little different here. Maybe we could grab our ferns like we did over there and then we could do Maybe we could go like that. Go like so. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Ah, there we go. That looks nice. Very nice. Very nice. All right. So let's jump back over here and assess our hedge work and our plantings. See how we did. Now, I wonder if we could add another block to the top like that. Kind of, uh, yeah, I like that. Let's add that block. To them all. Yeah. Yeah, parkour. Mine, Minecraft parkour. Yeah. The other one. And we'll call that complete. All right. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, what do you guys think? If you guys have any suggestions on anything else, that would be much appreciated. I can always do it over again. If you guys have any better ideas or something. So, Let's jump into super fast hedge work mode. End of super fast gardening mode. Oh boy, that was quite a little ordeal there. That was quite a what a gardening project. I've got a little bit of a sunburn and everything from the hot day of uh, working out here. And yeah, look at that. I think we're just about done with our garden design. I think it came out pretty cool. So let's just take a little walk down our pathways and uh, kind of take a look at our handiwork in this episode. And yeah, there was a slight mistake. I don't know if you caught it in the super fast build mode. And I corrected that. There, were, I didn't quite line up it symmetrically when I came up to this point here. So I had to come back and knock out quite a bit of uh, previously worked on gardening. So I cleaned that up. That took a little while, but once I got it all finished, I think it looks pretty good. And yeah, so I think we're just about done with this portion of our garden project. And uh, yeah, so definitely let me know what you guys thought of... Uh, of the video if you have any suggestions on how I could make the garden any better definitely let me know and as always guys I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos and if you believe this video deserved a rating of some sort that would be much appreciated and until next time this has been good times with Scar and we we'll see you later goodbye everybody Woo.